Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, with the permission of the Majority and Minority Leader, I have a resolution um, for immediate consideration celebrating the one-year anniversary of the Script Your Future campaign in Rhode Island. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the House, Script Your Future is the first of its kind public-private partnership brought together in a public awareness campaign that seeks to highlight the growing problem of poor prescription adherence in our country. Script Your Future activities are taking place nationally and uh, Rhode Island is one of six states where this program is actually targeted at our population. In Rhode Island, nearly 25 partners have come together from state and municipal agencies to private companies and medical professionals to assist in creating ways to address this problem. And I know that from our perspective, this is a serious um, situation because ensuring that folks adhere to their medication ensures that we are able to keep the cost of health care down, which is one of our driving factors within our budget. Um, two founding partners for this campaign in Rhode Island were the University of Rhode Island College of Pharmacy and the Rhode Island Pharmacists Association. Together they have helped to educate consumers and create awareness about this issue. The Rhode Island Pharmacists Association has been instrumental in the mentoring of those students as well as in the guidance of the Scripture Future campaign. And today I have with me, and I would like you to join with me in welcoming, uh, Daniel Lefkowitz. He is the President-Elect of the Rhode Island Pharmacists Association, and Kylie Aubin, uh, who serves as the RIPA on the RIPA Council. Both have been important partners in the Scripture Future campaign, and as pharmacists in the community, they are also on the front lines helping consumers better understand their medications. They're also joined today um, by Erin Arcan. She is the field organizer for the Rhode Island target market of Scripture Future. So join me and welcome them to the House floor. Thank you. Thank you, Welcome. House resolution recognizing and celebrating the one-year anniversary of the Script Your Future campaign in Rhode Island. It's moved by Representative Tommaso, seconded by Representatives Handy, Walsh, Samini, Bennett, Paul, Chippendale, and McLaughlin. Any further seconds? Representative Valencia, Representative Tandy as well. Further seconds? Moved and seconded. All those in favor, aye. All those opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Resolution prevails. And the clerk, please read. House resolution recognizing and celebrating the one year anniversary of the Script Your Future campaign in Rhode Island. Whereas having a chronic disease such as diabetes, COPD, asthma, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol can take away chances for a long and full life if one does not take prescription medicines as prescribed by a doctor. And whereas 45% of Americans have a chronic disease that requires prescription medication, three out of four patients with a chronic condition do not take their prescription as directed, and one out of three prescriptions are never filled. And whereas more than 33% of medication-related hospital admissions are linked to poor adherence, non-adherence costs Americans $290 billion annually. The public policymakers and healthcare professionals should be informed about the importance of taking medications as directed. And whereas the National Consumers League has joined with Rhode Island's pharmacists, nurses, physicians, patients, consumer advocates, health systems, policymakers, and university and schools of learning in order to launch the Script Your Future Medication Adherence Campaign as the first public-private partnership to address the growing problem of poor medication adherence in our state and beyond. Now, therefore, be it resolved, this House of Representatives of the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations hereby recognizes and celebrates the one-year anniversary of the Script Your Future campaign in Rhode Island, and be it further resolved that the Secretary of State, being he is hereby authorized and directed to transmit a duly certified copy of this resolution to Sally Greenberg, Executive Director, National Consumers League. Thank you, Mr. Clerk.